What's up and welcome back. Today we're talking breakfast. I'm talking about eggs and particularly poached eggs, a technique that has given me a lot of trouble in the past. It took me years to really master it until I found this technique that really, really helps to make perfect, beautiful poached eggs. Now, I've, I've heard a lot of different things like adding vinegar to the water will help, swirling up your eggs in, a, in, uh, in like a typhoon in the pot helps, cooking them individually in smaller pans can help. This works the best. What you're really gonna need is a rounded mesh strainer, something like this to separate the whites, the thick whites from the thin whites. As you can see here, your egg whites, also known as albumin, have a thin watery part and a thick part. This thin watery part of your egg white, if you drop that into, the, into your blanching water or your poaching water, it'll make like tendrils, tentacle looking things. It'll make these funky looking poached eggs, just not appetizing. They look really not pleasant. So what we're gonna do here is strain all of this loose part out of your egg and keep all of this part here. So you're gonna take your rounded mesh strainer here and a bowl underneath it to capture the, that loose thin white. Crack that open and kind of roll it around real gently. You don't want to break the yolk. But this is going to help to separate that loose watery part from the thicker part of the egg white. After you've rolled it around like this, you've gotten all that loose part of the white out of the out of your egg you can either drop this directly into your poaching liquid or if you're going to be doing multiple eggs I recommend to take something something small like a plastic souffle cup or a ramekin transfer it into here first and then you can drop them all in individually and see here you can see that loose white dropping down from the mesh strainer. Pots on the stove, it's gonna look something like this when it's ready to poach. 170, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Bubbles are just accumulating on the bottom, a little bit of steam rising off the top. I'm gonna to drop my eggs in one at a time. Very close to the water, very slowly, very carefully. Gonna to wanna to have a slotted spoon on hand to stir and remove your eggs when it's time. Be very careful not to pop the yolks. About three and a half minutes for a soft runny yolk, four, four and a half, and even five for a really firm yolk. I wouldn't recommend anything more than that. As you can see, they came out looking round, smooth, and beautiful, not like some kind of hideous, tendrilled, Cthulhu-looking monster, but like a beautiful, gorgeous egg. I got a piece of avocado toast set up here. I'm gonna put my first egg right in the center. I cooked this one about four minutes. This one's about medium. And I pop into this real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. This is how I like it best. A little bit runny, but still pretty firm in the center. Look at that. This next egg I cooked for about four and a half minutes. As you can see, it's cooked almost all the way through. Cooking it any more than this would dry it out in my opinion. So that was four and a half, four minutes for the one in the center here. And this final egg I'm gonna show you, I cooked for about three and a half. You can see it's softer. When I pop into this one, you're gonna see that the yolk is very runny, loose, beautiful deep golden color, about three and a half minutes there. Practicing this technique can make poaching your eggs so much easier, save you a lot of headaches. And really, just it's just practice. Practice and you can get this every time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun with your eggs and give it a lot of love for me.